All right, everybody, here you go. Here is some smudging. Everybody get smudged. Everybody get smudged tonight. Everybody get smudged tonight. Hey, you know what? I can do a remake of a song and call it Everybody Get Smudged Tonight. Everybody gets smudged tonight. So I'm using uh, one of my sacred white sage smudge bundles. Man, I've got a uh, new family or a new group that I'm using for um, that, that grows the sage and cult, you know cultivates it and, and rolls it. And oh my God, I love their stuff. Uh, it's now like my all-time favorite sage. It's actually like a sage farm. So I really dig this stuff. So I do have a lot in stock. So you need to stock up for that Christmas season. They're great stocking stuffers. So come get some sage. I've got it on sale. I got some Palo Santo. I'll have um, juniper, cedar, and um, the uh, dragon blood sage in in the next couple of days. So we'll have a lot of cool things here. Got remedy necklaces. I've got some um, stone pendants that are like I think they're the um, crescent moon that I like freaking love. A lot of cool groovy things coming in. They're great stocking stuffers. Uh, so come shop with me. Um, let me know um, if you'd like to come in. This weekend we have an angel healing class, and I have two seats left. Uh, for the angel healing class, so let me know if you'd like to register for that class. Give me a text, 405-549-3766. It's 200 bucks, two-day class. You're certified to be an angel healer, and yes, you get to practice angel healing on that. And speaking of angels, we're going to use the Angels of Atlantis deck. And I'm going to kind of shuffle these, but I want to talk about some spiritual etiquette. All right, so... Uh, because tis the season, okay? People like to give gifts. They like to, when they have a beautiful bounty or they have something very beautiful and they want to share it, they'll give gifts out. And sometimes people are um, hesitant to receive a gift. Uh, sometimes people don't want the gift, whatever. Um, okay, when someone gives you a gift... And it is out of beautiful intention, and you know it's beautiful intention. Accept the gift. Receive it. Accept it. Say thank you. You don't have to say thank you. If you don't want the gift, throw it in the trash. Hey, Jack, how are you? Um, throw it in the trash. Give it to somebody else. Give it to Goodwill. Doesn't make a difference. Okay, when someone gives you a gift... And you negate that gift or refuse that gift, whether it's an apple, a piece of candy, a thousand dollars, whatever, you negate, negate that gift, put your hand up to it, refuse the gift or whatever, you have just made a choice to abundance block, prosperity block somebody else. Okay, they're sharing their abundance with you, and you refuse that, or you negate it, um, you know, you do the big F you or whatever to it. Okay, you just blocked somebody else's abundance, somebody else's prosperity, somebody else's good, good groovy, cool vibe. And then more importantly, you just accepted... That karmic debt of being negating, being refusal of bounty and prosperity. So be really mindful about those choices. Accept those gifts. They give you something and you don't want it. Share it with somebody else. Pass it on. Don't negate a gift that someone gives you because you just made a choice to prosperity block that other person and then you in turn will be prosperity block prosperity blocking yourself why would you do that why 
that's just like being at McDonald's and you pull up to the uh, window and they tell you that the car in front of you just paid for your latte and you go F you. Really? Come on, don't do that. Be a cool, groovy person. If you don't like that gift, pass it on. But don't be a little hateful or, you know, resonating uncool vibe by negating somebody else's prosperity vibe. Yeah, you know, it's just not cool. Just not cool. And so that's 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 the only part of regañando that I will do today. Uh, you know, it's been on my heart for a while to talk about that, talk about negating other people's prosperity and bounty, and they want to share that with you, and, and, you know, people, don't be a jerk. Yeah. Don't be a low vibe and, and blow that off. Okay, all right, so there we go. Uh, we got about four or five cards. Um, wow, okay, so... We're doing the Angels of Atlantis. That is a deck by Stuart Pierce. Um, I love angels. And again, I got an angel healing class coming up this weekend. So let's honor the angels and take a look and see what they say. Okay. So the first card, the energy that's coming in is the um, Archangel Raziel. And Raziel is talking to us about our faith, our belief. Uh, and I'm going with the, the phrase blind faith on this as well. Sometimes we have to accept and roll with the flow and roll with a flow that is um, blind, like being blindfolded. And not being able to see. So we have to depend on other senses to get us into that groove or get us, yeah, get us into that groove, get us into that sense of connection. On this, that we are going to be traveling and working on total blind faith, total blind faith and trusting the, um, and I'm going to say the untangible, the untangible. Is that even a word? Is it intangible or untangible? But that's what I'm getting is that when I see this Raziel card, the understanding that I have here is that we are going to be rolling today on total blind faith. Things that we can't see, things that we can't touch, things that we can't, okay, and this is where this all f flows into, we can't see it, we can't touch it, um, you know, uh, we're not able to really say, you know, this is how this happened, it's kind of like, um, and I'm going to say it just like this, sometimes miracles do occur, sometimes miracles do occur, and that's what that initial faith card is talking about is about miracles now when i look at this because who do we have again we have raziel with faith and now we have raziel with intuition so he is or so this archangel is asking us to start trusting from the inside out start trusting from the inside out. And for some of us, that is like a nightmare to think about, is trusting from the inside out, because often we don't really trust ourselves. We don't trust ourselves. Sometimes we uh, end up going into a state of... Um, uh, and, and I'm going to say it like this. Sometimes we go into such a state that we don't trust our own intuition. We don't trust our gut instinct. And that's okay. Sometimes we'll go in and we'll see our healers or see our astrologer, see our card reader, whatever, you know, however, which way you kind of work with those things. Uh, and um, we'll either want to get direction or confirmation. 
okay and most of the time it's confirmation because just like Carl Jung said everybody's an intuitive and we all intrinsically know what's going on we just sometimes need a reminder a push in the right direction or a confirmation and uh and uh, Raziel is really talking about that in this intuition card, you know, and it's followed off of faith. Sometimes you just have to start trusting your gut instinct, and we really don't like to do that, especially if it's something that's very sensitive and that feelings may be hurt or you know things change or we break up we move in different directions we don't always like that feeling yeah we don't like those kind of feelings you know not normally uh so but intuition trust faith it is about looking inside and working from the inside out on these first two cards all right so Intuition, and you know, because technically this intuition card was in my, uh, you know, as in what I would say my obstacle is, and uh, and I'm going to kind of add into that. A lot of times we don't like, a lot of times we don't like the message that we're getting or that we receive. All right, so where does this go with? What's our help? Our help is Archangel Shamiel. And Shamiel talks to us about beginnings, things changing. It's not, not you know, beginnings. And I'm going to say, yeah, they didn't put the word new beginnings on there. But beginnings. And so a lot of this energy today is talking about trusting your instinct and going from the inside out. Maybe you need some confirmation. That's groovy. Get your confirmation. But in here, when we start to trust and follow our instincts, follow our intuition, blindly, it's not tangible. Intuition is not a tangible thing. It's a gut instinct. It's a feeling. It's an, you know, and I, and I mean, when I mean feeling, I'm not talking about emotion. It's that sense of knowing feeling. And when we start to give support, uh, respect, and honor our instinct, that is where these beginnings start working through, coming up, working through, becoming apparent and open and available. Listen to yourself. You know you better than anybody in the entire world will know you. You know you. All right, so where is all of this stuff ending up with Zadkiel? Zadkiel, he talks about gratitude, being grateful, being thankful. And so when we start ad admiring and honoring and respecting our own truths, our own ability to discern... Honoring the greatness of our mind, the greatness of our voice, the greatness of our essence, our foundation, and being grateful for who we've become and who we are becoming, as in who are we metamorphosing or transforming, transmuting into, that is the key for our harmony, our balance, our joy, and what we will embrace in the day today. Love who you are. Embrace that girl or guy or girl guy or whatever. Embrace it. Love it. You are an awesome person and you've been neglecting that awesomeness in order kind of to fulfill needs of others. Embrace who you are and take off with that and go. Peace, love, and harmony. I hope to see you soon.